Right guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another match review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sunderland Sheffield Wednesday game which finished as a 4-0 win for Sunderland and unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable performance. Like, I honestly can't find anything wrong with that performance at all. Everybody was absolutely flawless. Uh, I think everything that could have went right, went right at the end of the day. And uh, on the contrary for Sheffield Wednesday, I think everything that went wrong went went wrong for them. Obviously they they had a pretty uh pretty miserable afternoon I suppose and went just absolutely nothing went their way. But that is football sometimes you get those days. I mean like literally last week they put four past Plymouth and then beat Hull in the in the uh, cup on Tuesday night and then they go absolutely get absolutely plastered by us today. So it happens, you know, it's it's, it's one of those. But uh, yeah, see you last week I'm gonna go over the match um review and then I'm gonna give my sort of analysis and thoughts at the end. Hope you guys are looking forward to this review. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So starting off with the two teams. Starting off with Sunderland, we had Patterson and Goal, Hume or Nine, Elise the second back four, Neil and Job as the home midfielders, Roberts, Rig, Clark behind Mayenda. For Wednesday had a summer formation, had Beadle and Goal, Valerie, Iorfa, Bernard, Lord back four. Ingleson banning the two midfielders, Kasama, Windas, Musaba, all behind Jamal Law. Subs for Sunderland, we had Adela Shees, Nazari Rusin, Romain Mundell, Simon Muir, Leo Hayelda, Nectar Triantis, Zach Johnson, Pierre Equa, and Dulla Bar. Chef Windsor had Michael Smith, Paul Valentin, Liam Palmer, Ike Ogbo, Marvin Johnson, Pierce Charles, Michael Iwerki, Olaf Kabaki, and Charlie McNeil. And on for the first 10 minutes, it was all Chef Wednesday. To be completely honest, they definitely have more of the ball, some, have some better chances, and I remember looking at their front four with um, Misaba, Gasama, and Lou, and thinking, fuck, that's a pacey attack, and obviously you've got Windass and Bannon as well behind them, that's just, that's, that's, that's not a bad attack at all for the championship, and I was thinking, we could we could be we could be in bother today, especially if they go on the counter-attack, um, but it was actually us who um, got the opening goal, and it was from a set, it was from a set piece, that's two set-piece goals we scored already this season, like, utterly mental, uh, yeah, so it was um, Roberts with, with the ball in the box. Brilliant ball of the, the Dennis Serkin, who, when when he, he, was, he was at the back post, completely unmarked. When the players didn't even know where he was. That was a fantastic header at the bottom left corner. No no chance for the goalkeeper at all. And uh, yeah, really good start. Again, after Sheffield Wednesday, they probably had more of the ball, better chances. But it was a brilliant opening goal from, from Serkin there. A brilliant, brilliant set piece. Um, uh, work with goal. Honestly, you, you could tell I was straight off the training on that one. Honestly, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. I'm not much of a now. Unbelievable. So there from Sunderland, and they're uh, just under the goalkeeper. But um, yeah, um, literally straight after that, we make a two 0 Um, you know, poor touch from Windass. I mean, to be fair, he was under pressure from all nine, but just poor from Windass. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if it's just a bad pass or a touch or what, but um, yeah, my end, the goal came straight to my end there. Unbelievable strike from my end, and to be fair, I was, honestly, I'm absolutely buzzed from my end today, by the way. Just, it's, it's what he needed, and it was a proper strike that's finished that, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there, I don't, I don't know, if, I think it's just a bad touch from Windass, yeah. And then, or nine, and um, managed to uh, put pressure on him, and then my end, there's a really good finish. And then, uh, yeah, honestly, it was a dream start, absolutely dream start. Um, this one, and honestly, the, honestly the, the, the momentum just kept on coming, and honestly, we made, made it 3-0. Almost straight after, and yeah, it was from a corner. Um, yeah, our corners hadn't been great. Um, admittedly, the, the whole Clark Roberts short corner routine hadn't quite won me over quite yet. Um, I would say I think the one chance where Rob, Rob, Roberts had put a ball in the box it was, it was a pretty poor delivery. Um, you know, as, you, as I always say, I think like what, third or fourth time to charm. Roberts passed the ball to Clark. Clark, I mean, to be fair, he had about three defenders on him. He tried to find a way through. Um, he finds um, Chris Rigg. Rigg has a shot on the edge of the box. Uh, yeah, it came. Found us, it took like a deflection or two. Found us with the all nine, and do you think it, look, it looked offside at first? I'll admit, I even I like asked it like, almost in the northwest on the concourse. I thought, oh, might be offside here. But I'm um, also looking back. All nine time was to absolute perfection there. I think it was. I think it was. I think it was Windass. Yeah, look, I'm looking back here now. I think I think Windass keeps him on. Yeah, he does. Like, literally, as Rig hits the ball with 09, Windass keeps 09 on side. I honestly, I mean, to be fair, brilliant. From, um, Windass, that's what, two goals? He's been a, a, a two poor, he's two goals, he's been a 4 4 there. Um, yeah, just not great from him um, at all. But honestly, yeah, that first half, unbelievable. Uh, Sheffield wanted to do have the ball in the back of the net, but I was real off, offside. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, looking back, it was offside. I mean, obviously, the, the ball going in, just, yeah, not lucky not from uh, Chef Wednesday there. And then I, I, I think once, once a goal was a disallowed, you could tell it was just, it's, it's just going to be one of those days for, for Sheffield Wednesday where nothing was going to go their way. Uh, Roberts had a pre got opportunity as well, um, which went just over the bar. Yeah, honestly, Roberts, again, another decent delivery there. Chris Rick had a shot, which was brilliantly saved, by the way, from Beadle. I honestly, that, that was a hell of a save from the from the, um, the goalkeeper there. Rick absolutely amazed how that didn't go in. Honestly, I was off, I was off, I was off my seat. I thought that went in. Um... I mean, yeah. It, to be fair, it does hit, it does bounce it does bounce a little bit. I probably helped the goalkeeper on the way in a little bit there, but um, yeah, that, that that first half was just absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable. Like I'm, I'm gonna say that word quite a lot, but it was so so good first half. And uh, yeah, um, half time Wednesday, because so Michael Smith coming on for uh, Kasama. So I mean, uh, so you, you, you I'm guessing you're gonna shift win this out um, to the on, onto the um, wing and half two up front with Low and um, Smith. But yeah, and I was thinking at half time. Listen, get get a fourth goal early doors. Just shut them out because obviously they, they, they were going to come out all guns blazing. And, and to be fair, they had the shot literally the first ten seconds of the, of the second half. They had the opportunity, which was a well defended by Elise here. But um, you yeah, basically what I have to do is get an early goal to completely shut them out. And that's literally what we did uh, in the in the model. A job with with, with um, a header passes the rig right on me by the rig. Unbelievable ball to there to Jack Clark. Clark in the middle of the box. My ender four nil. Beadle probably should have gotten that one, but you know, it is what it is. We're not going to complain about that one. Yeah, it's 4 0, and honestly, that was just unbelievable game from um, man. That up, up ball from Rick was fucking beautiful, by the way. Rick had an unbelievable game. Um, and uh, yeah, it's 4 0 to Sunday. There, not too bad at all. And then from here on, for, for pretty much for all the second half, we just saw the game out. Didn't do too many silly mistakes. Like Wednesday, had a couple of opportunities. Um, normally, Michael Smith right at the end probably should have made a 4 1, just skied out over the bar. Um, you know, we, we defended brilliantly. At least you know, nine really, really good partnership at the, the back there. Um, we're gonna bring on Ashish Roosin for a bit. Um, yeah, honestly, overall, a brilliant performance, and uh, we sort of came out nicely. And um, yeah, we've capped off what was a pretty good afternoon. So going off um, on the analysis now. Um, again, I, I, again, I can't fault anybody in that team who played the day. Patterson had a pretty comfortable afternoon, obviously. Had to make a couple of decent saves here and there, but I thought he, I thought he had a pretty free afternoon. The back four was just absolutely fantastic. I mean, it was complete breath of fresh air compared to what we had, what had to watch against Press on Tuesday. And um, with, with that so-called back four, it was just so much better from them for um, you know, or nine, absolutely brilliant. And him and the least, just no issues at all. Dennis Serkin, just um, he's a fantastic footballer. Dennis Serkin, when he is fit, he is, in my opinion, the best left back in the championship. And then him and Clark. I mean, I, I said that against against Cardiff last week. Them two going to be an unbelievable partnership. Um, yeah, Dan Neal. I mean, again, I thought he played better when he did against Cardiff, but then um, you know had a very tidy performance. Didn't really doing anything of note, but you know he didn't make any mistakes. You know, I thought he had a pretty tidy performance. And Job playing a little bit more deeper than normal, but obviously that's because I um, we had to accommodate Rig. Um, I thought he had a very uh, another pretty solid performance. Um, at the, at the, as, a, as a CDM. Robert I was very impressed by it today. I thought again against Cardiff he was a little bit um under I don't think he did much against Cardiff, but today he got involved quite a lot. Um probably arguably should have had a goal with him as well, but you know it is one of those, one of those afternoons, I think. Um Rig, absolutely fantastic in the field. He was he was honestly he was, he was everywhere. Like like honestly he was I, I think that was the complete number ten performance uh, from Chris Rick. He was just, he was absolutely sensational in the ten. Jack Clark, it was a pretty late back performance from uh, Clark today. Obviously, he got, he got the assist for um, my end of second, but other than that, he had a pretty low key game. I mean, it's not a criticism by any means, it's more, more so just not, like, not an observation. And obviously, there been quite a few rumours circulating around about his future at the club. Um, but then, obviously, this morning, apparently, apparently we're going to look at the um, open negotiations into getting a new contract. So, um, yeah, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully that um, goes to plan. And my end, I mean, Look, I, I still think we need a new strike. I, I, I still think we need we need like another striker, like, like someone like Mendy or someone like him. Um, you know, just um, you know, you know, as, as an older older head in the in the dressing room. But like Mayenda, I mean, today we'll we'll have done an absolute world of good. You know, two really good, really well taken goals from him. Yeah, I, I, I mean, to be fair, I think actually, I'm, actually, I'm gonna Google this. When was the last time someone strike striker scored a brace in the match? The last time Sunderland strikers scored a brace in the match was Rotherham at home back in 2022. Ross Stewart getting two goals there. That was the last time Sunderland strikers scored a brace in the match. I mean, nearly two years since then. That's absolutely nuts. 
Um, but uh, yeah, also, and also the three who came on, Roos and Ashish, well, they didn't really have much time to really make like a big sample of the game, but you know, they, they did all right, I suppose. And for Sheffield Wednesday, I mean, what went right for them today, <laughs> to be honest? Um, I, again, I'll make going forward, it looked all right. Um, you know, that front three of Lowe, Masaba, and Gasama looked, you know, look, you know them three got bags of pace. Um, you know, so I think, I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how they're going against Blackburn, especially because I know Blackburn got a pretty slower older defence so I'm, I'm curious to see how they get on there and um, but yeah just them at the midfield and the defenders all over the place um Bannon Barry Bannon you know obviously you can't just call him Bannon it has to be Barry Bannon shout out Andy Hinchcliffe um yeah he had absolute stink at the day as well uh I often Bernard would look fucking more like fucking two like they, they, they fucking empty like dumb dumb at the back also a Yorfa as well him in the second half absolutely just pathetic and embarrassing from you know this Every time Mayenda was anywhere near him, he just went down like a fucking sack of shit. And as someone who's clearly six foot plus, and you know he's, he's clearly a unit, it's absolutely just embarrassing from him today. And not, he, fucking, the referee just fell for it every time. It was just stupid. You know, was, I, I get it. You know, you know, you're four 0 down. You're trying to get something from the ref, but yeah, he was just he was he was absolutely hideous. And from him, really really poor. And uh, Beadle and Go, I mean, to be fair. He, he tried, you know. He 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 couldn't really do much much about any of the goals. I didn't I don't really think, think, but um, yeah. Overall, pretty good performance. I'm overall very happy. You know, we're second in the in the table. Burnley, the one the one team are better than us. Top, top table, and then who we play next? So that should be um, a pretty interesting um tie to see how you know our first proper test this season. I think um, see how we will get on against them. Um, yeah. Overall, my my man, the match of the day. I'll see. I'll, I'll probably give the. I'll probably give the, give the Chris Rig. To be honest, obviously my end. I know. I know that's harsh. We give my end the score to brace and uh, whatnot. But um, obviously Rig. I, yeah, he was. He was everywhere. So yeah, I, I'm, I don't know why I was so scored. Give him a six point seven. I disagree out entirely. I, I don't know how you not giving Rig at least a seven there. But um, yeah, overall, really happy with that performance. And then um, hopefully we keep the momentum going for as long as we can. And also the only team in the league I'm, I'm conceded the goal yet. So um. <laughs> Although I'm almost certain that's probably, that's probably going to um, end against Burnley, Burnley next week, but um, yeah, you know, it's a good fact to have. And as well, what I'm saying is right. The last time we we won our opening two games, we got promoted, so I'm I'm not getting ahead of myself. It's it's still it's still 44 games left to go. You know, I'm, I'm not getting ahead of myself too yet, but um, yeah, you know, just gotta enjoy it while it lasts, I suppose. So um, yep, yeah, that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you all next time.